Yes. No demonic agendas. I'm going to be clear Jesus. with you. I'm going to be clear with you. Uh, one thing about God, God will reveal all things. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, Amos yes, said, Amos said, how can two walk together yes, except yes, they agree? Yes. Uh, Amos says that. And Amos yes. also says that he reveals all things unto his apostles yes. and his prophets. Yes. God will reveal all things and make all things known, amen, yes. Yes. unto us. So I want to encourage somebody today that no matter where you are, yes. that God has the ultimate uh, end for yes. you. Yes. And even though there are certain uh, certain things that are being done or on agendas, demonic agendas in our political arenas. Yes. And I'm not just talking about the church, but when I stand up to talk, I need y'all to hear me. When I stand up to talk, I'm not talking about just a church. Right. I'm not a mouthpiece for a church, a right. mouthpiece to this nation. Right. All right. And yeah. we leaders are not here just to talk to the church. Right. We're here to talk to the reality Amen. of the matter. Yeah. And so today I'm gonna to talk to I'm gonna to talk to y'all today on the reality of the matter. All right, all right. And, 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 and watch this, watch this, Mother Ben, watch this, Edwin. It's because there is an agenda every time there is a release or there's getting ready to be a new office of elections that's right, going to take place. Right, it's right. all type of agendas yeah. that has been released. Right. Now watch this, Lanisha. And when that happens, it also affects the churches because at every four years you see a church, the church shifting in splits. Yeah. Right. You see the church yeah. shifting in right, splits right. because the spirit in which where we live and reside because it is the territorial right, right? it's right. the region in which we live in and it's a season, watch Watch this. It's a season of uh, election. Uh -huh. Watch this. Uh -huh. Notice something. Other countries can have elections, but it doesn't bother the United States of America. Yes, right. But when it happens in America, yes. it doesn't bother other people. Right. right? right. But it does affect the, the people that live in the nation right. and right. in the area. Here is the thing. We cannot really call the United States of America a nation. Mm. That's right. it. Even though we say one nation under God right, in right. our pledge right. we can't say that because the United States of America Incorporation. Come on here. And we have people that's in the pulpit and we have people that are preaching to a nation and don't know you're preaching to the wrong entity because it can't be a nation because legalism says it's only incorporation. It's the United States of America, comma, incorporation. Right, right. That's what the United States of America is called. We're working, watch this y'all, in America for a business. We live in a business. We operate in a business. We buy in a business. Everything that we do is in a business in the United States of America. Because it says the United States of America, comma, incorporation. Go it up and look it up and see. And the Lord showed me something, Mother Billy, the other day as I was writing. He said, I need you to teach a different trajectory on how they're handling the national sound in America. He said, it's only a national sound because a lot of people are be listening at the same time. But the moment that the ears become mute, it's only going to be a business affair. Right. It's only going to be a conference meeting. Right. Guess what? A lot of our churches and we are nothing but conference meetings. Y'all yes. oh, right. going to make me work real hard today. Right, but I'm going to perfectly work. talk to y'all because the reality is of the matter. So here in the city of Atlanta, there's conferences start January the 1st, right? And the conference is going to start ending. This should be the last month of conference. And because of my job, I'm dealing with Mother Bailey, different people coming in the United States into Atlanta for uh, different conferences. We just had a project management conference. We just had uh, a, a, a technology conference. We just had a printing conference. And a lot of these people are 10 to 12, 30,000 people that's coming into Atlanta, right? For these conferences. And I'm sitting here saying, God, what is the matter here? He says, Juan, you have to understand the reason why there's so many conferences because that's how they promote the business. Right, right. That's how business promoted, and that is how, watch this, you ready for it? That is how uh, the, the, the elevation and the progression of the business, why they come to teach and develop. 
He said, does not this mirror with something that y'all are familiar with? And I said, well, God, what could it be familiar with? And I'm riding in the car, and I'm sitting there, and as I began to worship God, the word church ran right in front of my face. And I said, oh, my God. He said, the church ain't nothing but a conference. He said, it's never been really, really in a long time. And for a long time, the church have never been the ecclesia, the call down. The church has been social gatherings. The church has been uh, Jack. Uh -huh. And y'all that is. That's some different access on our phones. And yeah. some dating apps. The church has been dating apps. The church has been cesspools of swingers. And we got praise and worship that's up singing and ain't living nothing. We got musicians that ain't living nothing. Come on. We got preachers that ain't living nothing. We got people that ain't living nothing. All we have is social gathering. And the church has got comfortable with coming together in social gathering. And when God simply said, well, the Lord, the songwriter says, the Lord pays us the Lord of song when God is in the building. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. The man can walk. The blind yeah. can see. But yeah. if something happens when we bring God in the building, yeah. so we yeah. have to close out this year, Church of the Living God. We got to close out this year with this mandate pandy as we enter to worship. As we get ready to start preparing ourselves to exit this year and to go into a new year, we as a church have to start changing our mindset on how we get ready to come to God's house. God's house is not a business affair. It it may be in the country where we live in a business affair because that's what they separate state and business, state and church. But yet they tax us to a place and they penalize us because we don't keep up the standard of business uh, inflation. Or okay. uh, what the business do you try to go find a building, they'll ask you first thing what the building is for. Right. And when they see you say a church, guess what? They have the right to, to uh, not accept your application. Yes, right. Why? Right. Because the city's rush first before the landlords do it, the city will stop you from permitting because you're not bringing us enough revenue. All right, all right, all right. It's all about the mighty dollar. Y'all ain't saying that. How can I profit from you being in my place? And don't understand that the church is the beacon light of our world today. I don't care if you're in Turkey. I don't care if you're in Greece. I don't care if you're in the Bahamas, Jamaica. I don't care if you on the, the Royal Caribbean or what the Virgin Caribbean. I don't care what ship you are. The church is always going to be the beacon light of our world. Why? Because the Bible God made it that way. God called it a her. He called it a her. It's two entities that God calls a her. First entity is the church. The second entity is hell. My God, the church, he's called it a her, my bride. Hell, he said, hell is like a woman laying on her back, giving heaven pregnancy every day, enlarging herself every day. It's, so there's two entities, y'all, that God identified y'all gender with. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing how God knows how to genderize things and show us in the simplicity of how things are supposed to be? The reality of the matter is that election is coming in the spirit of agenda. Hidden agenda is all over the land. It's over the land in relationships. It's over the land in, in, in our church world, in our families, among each other. We can sit down with each other and know that there's agendas about each other and yet say, I love you after you sleep. No, no, no. See, real love, brothers and sisters, don't make you have agendas against people. Right, no, no. Real right. love don't make you have agenda that's going to now and destroy each other. The scripture right. said, Deborah, the scripture said, Mother Billy, it said, if we bite and devour one another, we shall be consumed. All right, all right, all right. I, I didn't write it. I, I didn't write it. It's the book, y'all. It's the book. It's the book. And so we have to start living our lives to the place that we have to be a clear agenda. Somebody help me and say clear. Clear. Oh, my God. Today, we got this thing in the, in the airport, and it's called clear, right? right? We got this thing called clear. You go in, and what they do, you put your finger on it beneath it. You put your face to it like this, and it's all written examine your pupils and your fingerprint, Mother Billy. And you walk with a line of everybody else. You're upset in these long lines. Why? Because you've been... Oh my God, today God is telling me to stand before the people and tell the people we've got to have a clear agenda if we're moving forward. Right. If there is not a clear agenda, everything that's demonic, everything that's satanic, everything that's ungodly will be judged, tried, and 
destroyed. Are y'all hearing me? There is a shaking that's coming to America. There is a shaking that's getting ready to come to the church world again, again. While we're building, I need some of y'all to understand as we just came up out of this step. Thank you, Father. As we just came up out of this fast, and I don't know what you got in it, but when we just ex exit this fast, God said, tell the people to prepare themselves, prepare themselves, because I'm going to shake the heavens and I'm going to shake the earth. And what remain will stand, and what is falling shall be cast into fire and be destroyed. Listen here, this pandemic, Katrina came, and some of us didn't pay attention. Rita came, and some of us didn't pay attention. Earthquakes and, 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 and tornadoes have come, and we still not paying attention. A pandemic came for three years, and we still in the midst of the endemic, and we still not paying attention. That God is shaking America and trying to bring America, bring her. Yeah. Oh, come on here, somebody. Yeah. Whether we like what I'm saying or not, whether you like my agenda of gospel kingdom, whether you like it or not, you better make sure that you go. Your, your anchor is sure foundation in God. Yeah. 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 You, you better make sure. You better make sure of that because God is God. God is shaking something. Yeah. Yeah. Churches are being shaken. Yes. Families are being yes, shaken. Yes, yes, yes. My relationships and marriages oh, are being yes. shaken. Oh my God, it's being shaken to a place that when it hits you, you don't, you say, I never expected I didn't say you saw it. Yeah. You saw it when it was coming. You saw yes. it when it was coming. You entertained it while it was here. You entertained it. You danced with it. You laughed with it. You passed your opinions about it. Come on here. You listened to the genders that was taking place. And you didn't tell us, you know what? I don't agree with that. No, no. That maybe he told it to you. He didn't tell it to me. Oh, come on here. Oh, we pick and choose what part of he didn't tell it to me. To say, all right? And then guess what? As we often understand, half truth is still a half lie. Are yes, oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? And the church where we're in today, America and the church. I got a message for y'all this morning. We better get our places back in God. We better get back to God. Pro, do me a favor. Do something if you can with this microphone. Uh, get yourself back with God. Get yourself back with Him. Get yourself back in sync and in tune with God. And get rid of the stuff that's in the ear. Get rid of the stuff that's been causing you to be discombobulated and disoriented. Yeah. Put all the junk mail down. Go into your bulk email and delete all that stuff. My God, we got too much of bulk emails in our spirits. We got too much of junk in our spirit. Come on here. Oh my God, come on. Too much of stuff that God is saying. You got to get rid of that stuff. You got to move that stuff out the way. You got to change that stuff. Why is it that every time it's time for the kingdom, there's another agenda that's on the table? Every time there's time to do something for God, there is another agenda on the table. And I, this morning, I'm telling you, when I woke up this morning, I began to sit there and say, God, I said, God, what do you want me to do? He said, I need you to tell my people this morning that they got to have a clear agenda. In order for me to bless them, in order for me to shift them, in order for me to call them to go to the next dimension in me, I need a clear agenda. Come on here. In order for you to sell a house, you got to have a clear deed. In order for you to sell a car, you got to have a clear bill of sale. Come on. You can't have no, no need on nothing. Some of us got leads on our contract with our oil. Some of our oil got leads on it. And God said, how in the world are you going to shift to the next place when you got a lean on your anointing? Oh, come on here, somebody. I need to help you. I need to help somebody today. Thank you, bro, for whatever you need. Thank you. I need you to hear me clearly and hear me prophetic as we're about to shift this kingdom miracle understanding that we have. My God, we got an anointing on our lives, but there is a lean against the anointing. We're asking what the lean is. Thank you for asking without asking. It's when there is an art between you and your brother, and you have not gone to your brother and cleared the matter. You got a lean on your anointing. When you got an agenda that you have not clearly, prophetically, and prayerfully, and intercessively have set down into wise confidence. How in the world can I do this without drama taking place? Guess what? You got a lean against yes. Yes, yes, yes. your anointing. Your anointing. Your oil. Your oil got a lean against it. Y'all didn't hear what I'm saying. There's a lean against it. So what God is trying to do in us is God is trying to shift us into another place in Him. Come on. Yeah. But we got to have a clear bill. Yeah. Uh, I, but watch this. We, had, we got to even be careful with that. My late bishop, my late bishop Glenn Miller had gone to the doctor. My God, he went to the doctor uh, there in St. Petersburg, uh, Florida. 
the late apostle bishop uh, uh right guard Tim Miller, somebody sing her. Let me tell you, that big old man can sing and play that keyboard. You hear me? He looks like Luther Man girls. I'm telling you, he looking like the big Luther, not the little Luther. Oh, you hear me? And 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 and, and, bitch, and I when I tell y'all to sing somebody, that boy sound he sounded just like Luther. He would get on that organ and just do all that. I mean just act the fool. But he, as a young man, went to the doctor. Watch this. He went to the doctor, and the doctor gave him a clear bill of health. My God went to church one Sunday, and right after that clear bill of health, uh, uh, and when he went home to church, he said, I'm going to stay. Y'all going to y'all going, uh, we'll go back home. And, 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 and sometimes when the wife was wondering why he hadn't came back yet, because Bishop don't miss church. Why? Because he's the praise and worship leader. Why? He's the musician of this church. Right. I mean, big old Kmart. We had this big old Kmart there in St. Petersburg, Florida. And he would sit on the stage with his keyboard and just worship. And the people would sit there and worship and worship and worship and worship. Yeah. You hear me? We got videos of this man. Yeah. Oh, my God. And a young man sitting there would worship and then preach. And it was time that he would call me the prince of preachers. He said, son, I need you to come. Son, I need you to come. I, I would jump on planes. Phil's would drop me off. Somebody would drop me off. And I would get to uh, St. Petersburg, right. clear water, listen here, y'all, and run to my bishop's beck and call and preach for hours and hours. And every time I was ready to stop Mother Billy, he said, no, you ain't clear yet. Oh, uh, come on. God. I'll never forget there was a pride going on right next to his church. He said, son, I need you to come because there's a pride going on next to our church. There was a resort center right next to the church for pride. And I came there and he said, when I got there, I would expect that Alicia must to be in the parking lot. He had the parking lot, the big concert speakers up. He looked up, he said, now you got to preach. This ain't my job. You got to preach. He led, my God, he led the worship up. And we took the microphone and preached. And I was Get ready to get off the stage. And he said, you ain't clean yet. Uh, there's times I would do, I'm getting ready to go back home. And I'm saying, okay, are you going to drop me to the airport? He will call me. He said, no. He said, I'm not going to drop you to the airport. I said, why? He said, because the Lord told me you haven't been clear to me to take off. Uh, you won't have clearance to take off. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. I was sitting there. And even though and when I was bringing thousands and thousands of dollars back home from these revivals, uh, but I couldn't leave until I was clear. Yeah. And Bishop said to me, he said, you're not clear to go back to Los Angeles. And there was time you call me, but two or three days later, he said, prepare yourself because I need you to come on back here, back to Florida. We got to go down to Miami. We got to go down to Fort Pierce. We got to go down there to, to um, West Palm Beach. We got to go here. We got to go there. I said, all right. I was jumping on planes. Watch this. And I was flying on Brother Ryan's spinner which I wasn't paying for no tickets. I was flying on buddy passes. All y'all hearing what I'm saying to you. But even when I got to go to the plane, watch this. Mother Betty, they'll always say, one God. Yes, you're clear to enter the plane. All y'all hear what I'm saying? Everything that you got to do in the kingdom got to have clearance in God. God got to bring clearance in order for you to get to the next place that God is requiring you to go. And clearance is not done in secret in, in secretness. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Because guess what? What you do? Here's what we hear people say. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Let's find it in the Bible. I, I, come on, come on, come on. You know, it's, it's not there. It's a cliche. It's a cliche. Let's find it in the Bible. The Bible says, in the multitude of consequences, there is safety. How, how is it, how is it, how is it, how is it, glory to God, how is it that mamas and daddies, you're raising your children, but your children are taking counsel with someone else and don't have a decide to sit My down God. and have a talk with you. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but because there's no clearance in what happened, the thief coming, that's why I St. John, the 10th chapter, mm. uh, that's why St. John, the 10th chapter, it tells us, St. John 10 and 10, it tells us, mm. My God. it tells us some matters, that's it him. Watch this, watch this, but, but, but watch this. The clearance of the matter, uh, uh, Sandra, the clearance of the matter is Absalom wanted David to do something right. against his own brother, his right. own child. Right. And, and, and Sandra, uh, David said unto Absalom, that's my child. Right. Yes, yes, you know, yes. you're my son, but that's my child too. Right. You want me to do it. Isn't it funny 
That when, when a mother or when a question is asked, a, a statement is saying that there is a favorite child, or you love your children more than, than the other, and you say, people say, no, I don't. Yes, oh, well, well, all through the Bible, it shows us that people love their children different. Every child is not going to get the same love. No. Why? It's because every child needs a different attention. Right. Now, the fact what you do have for your children is love. Love is not on the on the is not on judgment seat here. It's the dimension of love we're talking about. All right. All right. Come on. Now, would I stand here and say that I love Murray and Tanisha the same? I'll be lying to y'all. Would I say that I love Mother Cotilla and Mother Bailey the same? I'll be lying to y'all. There is a different love level. There's a different one. One is different from the other. One needs attention and the other needs attention. Are y'all hearing me? That is not the same. I can't say that I love Lanisha and Terrence the same way. No, I don't. Because me and Lanisha communicate more. You got to pull it out of Terrence and make him say hello. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying here? It's a different attention. It's a different attention. But do I love him? Yes. Ain't nobody going to do him nothing. Yeah, huh? Now, if I'm around, come on here. You're not going to say nothing to him. If I'm around, I'm going to open up my mouth and say something. Because it's my love for him. But the dimension and the depth of love is different. Come on here. The toleration of my love is different. And the same thing that David was saying. He said, listen here. You want me to kill or to be to do something that you want me to do. I can't do that because the fact of the matter, number one, I'm the king. Do you know what would happen to my kingdom if I take a side to you? But well, watch this, mother. Watch this, devil. You ready for it? Yes, sir. Absalom didn't care about his sister. No, he didn't. Nor did he care about what his brother did. There are some people that's around us don't care about what's going on. Because there's another agenda in their hearts. Well, well, you better believe it. I'm going to say this. Watch this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I told y'all I'm the teacher, right? Come on, teacher. Uh, well, my, my title today on this Sunday, The Reality of the Matter. The, my, 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 my class today, Mother, is The Reality of the Matter. See, the reality, Sandra, of the matter is not that the boy raped his sister. His reality of the matter is he faked like he was sick so his sister didn't come and appease his flesh. Right, right. See that hidden agenda? Right, right. Yeah. You see that hidden agenda? Right. And now here the sister is raped, right? Right. And now the family knows about the rape, right? Right. So now the reality of the matter is Absalom says, oh, we're going to do something. Daddy, what you going to do? He said, that's my son. In, in order for Absalom, is the, Absalom should have left the matter alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. Mind his business. Uh -uh, no, no. You know, that lady got, Bishop Hall's wife got a video out. I think I sent it to y'all. I don't know. She said, mind your business. Mm. You know, I ain't got to do it. I'm going to send it to y'all. I think I, I thought I did. Number, she number said, y'all worried about if I'm on a date? She said, mind your business. <laughs> and leave my business alone. Right, she said, see, Absalom should have mind his business. It's because you can't be the righteous judge when there is an agenda in your heart. Right. Well, right. So, you ready for it? Ready. You ready? Okay, and as soon as that Ab David did not do what Absalom wanted him to do, immediately Absalom started doing what? Politicking in the town about what type of man did his father was. Right, right. Absalom started telling people while he was sitting in the city of what kind of man his father was. Well, you know he allowed my sister to be raped. You know he allowed uh, that boy to still be alive. He didn't want to give the boy a name, that boy. That he boy. wouldn't even say my brother, <laughs> that boy. Come on, watch this. But watch this, there, uh, Benita. I don't really believe, Sandra, that Absalom was concerned about his sister or the brother. Because well, immediately when David refused to follow his stand, his heart turned to Jerusalem. Well, that's what I was going to say. There you go, mother. If his heart was never in Jerusalem, Lenisha, why when he got angry with his father, he went to Jerusalem? Right. Watch this, Edwin. Not only did he go to Jerusalem, he goes to Jerusalem not to live there, but to sit on the throne that was his. Yeah, well, 
watch this, Absalom goes to Jerusalem and now sits on a throne and make his own self king. Well, that's it. That's too many self made kings. Watch this. Did I, 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 am I losing y'all? No, come on. Am I losing y'all? Oh, okay, all right. I don't want to make sure because I want to make sure the students understand the text. All right, come on. Right, right, right. Watch this. Absalom, I want y'all to say that with me. Absalom had another agenda. But he only used the current situation to make his agenda reality. I know, 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 I know. You know, a lot of people think I'm blind about a lot of stuff. But I'm not blind, baby girls and baby boys. And the Lord revealed, the Lord shows me, told me all the time from day one. He said, be a soldier of peace and walk in love. Why? Because vengeance is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. But the recompense of reward is ours. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying to you? And, and this, is not a, this is not a text of thought because God is showing us something. He's showing us that America and the church have another agenda in their heart. The moment I, God, don't do what the church of the world say, they create their own agenda. I was sitting on a, a podcast the other day as just a listener. Not a podcast, but I think I'd be on. What yeah. uh -huh. No, no, yeah, oh, okay. no. There you go, baby. Thank you. I was on Clubhouse the other day, and that was a transsexual that was having the mother being a conversation with some pastors. And the transsexual got up and said, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jesus that be a question. Now, automatically, he should have been dropped off the path. Because of the blasphemy that you yes, use. Yes. And so no one said, and I sat there about 20 minutes, and no one addressed that this man just said. When he get to heaven, when he see Jesus, he's going to ask that be a question. No one said nothing, Lanisha. No one said nothing in we know. They just kept talking and talking, and my temperature got to rise. I had another agenda that if I hit the raise my hand button, it's going to be shut down in this clubhouse for real. And I was sitting there, no one, no one. I kept saying, God, I said, please let my agenda be a kingdom agenda. Sandra, as I stood there, I want you to know something about your boy up here. It, 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 it clicked a nerve inside of me that made me want to take my pistol out and shoot the phone. Y'all ain't saying that, and I didn't even have it. When he got up and he said that, he began to say that I don't believe in Jesus. But then turn around and say, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jesus that be why he did this to me. And not one preacher uh, redirected the conversation. Not one preacher changed the narrative of the conversation. Not one person decided to say, listen here, we heard what you said. So after 20 minutes, I waited five more minutes. 25th minute, I lift up my hand. I sent a private inbox to the moderators. I said, y'all have lost your rabbit minds. I was sending back the reply again. I said, how in the hell and cheese did you allow a transsexual to stand on Clubhouse and call our Jesus the B-word? And not never one of y'all say not one doggone thing. I need to ask y'all a question. Where is your kingdom agenda? said to me, then we responded back and said, hold up, Dr. Belong, we're going to bring you up. We didn't hear that. We didn't hear that. So when they brought me up, I said, mute the panel. Mute this panel. Mute it now. Mute it now. They looked at me and said, hold up, hold up. What's the problem? I said, mute this panel. All I want on this panel is the two moderators, the host of two moderators and the transsexual. Every other preacher get down or I'm getting down. Because if you heard this boy call our Jesus the B word, and now what are y'all saying? And all the comments are flowing in. All the comments are flowing in. Say, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He tried to change the narrative that I didn't say it. And the girl came back with the recording, and it said exactly what he said. I paused. I said, I put him on mute and shut this demon up. How in the world are you going to stand up here and talk about when you get to heaven? You're going to look at our Jesus and ask that B. Don't blame it on God. Oh, God is 
see how in the devil worlds do you think I'm going to let you get away with that? I might be jacked up here. I might have some issues. I might have some things going wrong with my life. I may not be as perfect as I should be. But one thing you're not going to do is defame the living God that I serve. Yeah. One thing you're not going to do is destroy the house of God that I worship up. For this place I live from. This place I die from. I lose my life for the church of the living God. Why? Because this is the place where I I said, put, I said, put that boy on mute. My God, come put him on mute. Yes, 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 yes. I said, drop everybody off it, or I'm getting off of it. Ooh, I won't sow another dime into this. Mm. And they said, Apostle, we hear the tone. And somebody came up and said, no, you did. He said, we have the recording. My God. And they rewind the recording and he said what he said. I said, first of all, how do a demon have a conversation come on. on a panel that is a kingdom panel? Come on. Come on. Come on. Secondly, Jesus told the demons to be quiet. Yes. Yes, yes he did. Speak when I talk to you. All right, yes. all right, all right. Come on, And sir. after I talk to you, I'm going to charge you where you got to go. Yes. Uh, yes. Jesus did not have conversations with demons. He said, what is your name? My mind in parable. Come on, He said, well, well, where you come from? Who is your mom and dad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. no. He, he, when he asked the name one time, said Legion, for we are many. He said, come out. Come yeah. out, that's just he, he said, come out. He didn't grab so he didn't throw hands on him. He said, come out of here. I said, listen, host, I respect you to the most. I said, this is my race. I respect y'all. I'm here every morning with y'all. Every morning I'm here. I said, but how will the ham and cheese that y'all let that boy say that? Well, you misgenderized me. I'm not misgenderizing you. You're a boy. You're a boy. Do you still got the boy parts? You're a boy. I don't care what you say. You just got to be able to fame my Jesus. And you think I'm not going to say nothing to you? You're going to reap what you just sowed, Negro. You're not going to stay on this panel. Jesus didn't make you a homosexual. God didn't make you a homosexual. It was your choice. God didn't make you a murderer. God didn't make you a child molester. God didn't make you a businessman. God didn't make you rich. God didn't make you poor. That's a choice you made because people perish because of the lack of knowledge. And what you're not going to do is yes. stand up there and use that kind of word, prophetic yes. word. Yes. And yes. guess what you I'm not trying to win no bright points with y'all. I'm not trying to win no bright points in the kingdom. I've always been this way. Oh, no. Whenever it came time for God and this church, I stood before this church always and didn't let nothing and nobody, even when I was wrong, even when I messed up, I stood before the congregation and said, I apologize. Where are we going to go from this? When others won't do it, they'll damage us up, mess us up, and walk away from us, and they say, he'll be all right in the end. Yeah, I won't be all right in the end, but guess what? Every deed and everything that's been done with hit the genders, y'all better know one thing. As sure as all these electors and these people that's running the election and they get exposed, so shall we, because the Bible said that judgment starts at the household of faith. Come on, y'all. Saints of the living God. We're not getting away from the stuff that we got. All these hidden agendas and all these hidden uh, motives and all these hidden stuff. We got nothing no. We need some clearance in our lives. So, so he got up there, and then, and so um, he oh, says, well, I don't know who you are. Mm. <laughs> and he went to the page, and he tried to do everything else. Yep. And I said, that's fine with me. You can say whatever you want to say. The truth will always be out. But the fact of the matter is where's your evidence? That what's on the table is not your sexuality. What's on the table is that you call my Jesus a beat. Right, right, right. And these moderators and these hosts act like they didn't hear. Okay. These okay. folks from Africa act like they didn't hear. All right. These folks, and we had a whole people down in the audience saying we heard that. Okay. How in the world we all heard it and y'all didn't hear Okay. And my problem is here, how did he not get muted and get dropped off and rebuked? Come on here. So I wouldn't have to come up and do your job. I said, so what's the problem is? The problem is, this is your uh, clubhouse page, right? Profile. This 
This is your page. You watch this. You ready for it? And, and y'all making millions on this page. Y'all here seven days a week at six o'clock in the morning to eight. And they're coming back at six o'clock in the evening to eight. Every morning for three years they've been on that page. I've been following them every morning. I've sown seeds. Okay. Are you hearing me? I've been sowing seeds in this. Cash out to help other churches in Iraq and different places right, that's going right. on. When the COVID was happening, dude, I've sold hundreds. I've sold uh, uh, twenties and tens on this app for a pastor there. I said, how is it that money is being trafficked? Kingdom money is being trafficked through this app. And not one of y'all heard that this man called our Jesus to be one. I said, now I have to get up as Samuel and do my God what you saw or not doing. Oh, come on. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, ain't nothing here. So I said, no, no, no. Get him back up here. Bring him back on this panel. I said, because if he did say, why did he drop off? Why did he drop off? He didn't say. Why did he leave? Because he know the challenge is real right here. Why he didn't leave? Because the reason why he was so freely to say that our Jesus is a be on this panel is because he must have something on all of y'all. But I don't give a dog going a rat tail. If he had something on me, you would still not go step up here and call my Jesus the be word. No, 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 no. I don't care what you think you might know about me. What you're not going to do is stand on a platform such as Clubhouse and call my Jesus the be word. And I'm in this world and not going to say nothing. No, the Samuel stood up in me. The prophet stood up in me. He said, no, 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 no. Go find Saul. Go get Saul. Tell God to tell that Saul to come right back up here. To come right back up here. Because we're about to have an Agag moment with him. We're about to chop him to pieces. Come on here. Bought mercy and bought grace. You lost mercy and you lost grace when you call Jesus a beat. I said, no, 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 no. If we don't cut this stage for cancer, I almost going to die here. This spirit of perversion has come into the body of Christ and not trying to pervert our gender, not just trying to pervert our churches, but pervert our reality and our mindset. But guess what? I'm not going to let it happen. If I got to say it all by myself, I'm not going to let it happen. The only way it will shut my mouth up if you kill me. And when you do that, guess what? Spirit is never born. And spirit never dies. And therefore, God will send that same spirit he got in me to somebody else. And every time you hurt me, your ears will be intaminated. I said, God, the Lord is still in the earth. Are you hearing me? So I said to the young man, I said, I don't have a problem with your sexuality. I don't have a problem with what you say you are, was born as. Well, the fact is, it did happen by God. Whether y'all like what I say or not, right. it's a choice. It's a choice. Everything that we do in life is a choice. It's a choice. I can choose to be married That's or choose right. not, not to be. be. I can choose to be saved and choose not, not to be. be. Isn't it funny that when something that is not validated or have no validity, we always want to put it, blame it on God, say God made me this way. Right. 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 But when it's something that is of validity, we just say, I chose that. Uh -huh. Now, this is what I said. I chose not to be married. Well, I chose not to drink, smoke, no. I chose not to do a lot of things, right? right? right. But when there's some things that I do choose to do that have no validity to it, oftentimes what we do is blame God and say, God made me this way. Yeah, no, no, no. Right. Why are the choices you had right. before? And now you lose the choices. I said, God didn't make you that way. I said, let me tell you something, young man, how you're so dumb and ignorant. And these people just let you be dumb and ignorant on this panel. I'm trying to help you be smart and get saved and delivered before the rapture comes. I said, first of all, you said you're going to when you see Jesus, you're going to ask that B why he made you that way. First of all, Jesus didn't make you. He's the only your redeemer. That's dumb number one part, Jesus. Dumb number two point is the fact of the matter that the Holy Ghost didn't make you. He's just only here to comfort you and lead you back to all truth. <laughs> uh, fact number three, dumb number three point was God is the creator of all things. Uh -huh. So God's the creator of all things. If you have a problem, don't put the B word on Jesus. Why don't you get back and go put it on God and see what the revenge would be. Because yeah. vengeance yeah. don't belong to Jesus. It belongs to God. Yeah. So yeah. God says, you know why I can't get into that? Because I have a sense that they knew not to say that about God. But to say it about Jesus. So because you have that awareness, let me correct you and check you out on your awareness. 
So therefore, because of that, you are blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Which is speaking against God and the entities of God. And therefore, God going to get you. God going to get you unless you repent. I said, now that you are a sinner and you blaspheme, you have a better chance of repenting and being accepted than those of us that's allowing you to blaspheme God and don't say nothing about it. Have right, you still have wrong. Well, we was trying to have a panel and what we was trying to do. No, 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 no. You were having a panel. You were having a panel. You was creating a platform of perversion. Yeah. Well, That's what yeah. you was creating. Yeah. Yeah. And you allowed this perverted spirit to stand up here and call our Jesus a thief. Well, Lord, oh, yeah. it and there was no correction. Yeah. So now you want to judge the Samuel and me. Because okay. I would have stood up and said, bring the egg back to me. All right, come on, Sam. Come on, you know what we're not going to do is you're not going to take tack on my God and think that I ain't going to take toe on you. Okay. Now that's what we're not going to do. What we're not going to do is play in the kingdom. Don't talk. But where's the love of God? But where was the love of God when you called his son to be? I love God, but, oh, but is a negative conjunction or a creative conjunction. What is the creation of this and what is the negativity of this? Of your butt. Let's make sense of your butt because you got one of his sex and you got an opinion in sex. So therefore, I need to ask you a question. What is your butt? Yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Come on. Teach and preach. So, yeah. Here we find. Here we find. Here we find. Do to, watch what God said. He said, the agenda one. The agenda of this platform, watch this, Sabrina, was to create a platform for opening, bring people in so they can have a dialogue. Mm. Uh -huh. All right? Yeah. All right? So let's talk about dialogue for two minutes. Uh -huh. All right. Dialogue is a line of communication uh -huh. yes. that we have for networking, promotion, or elevation. Right, right. right. Or to be empowered of someone's entity or idea or perception right, right. and make a choice whether we want to be a part of it or, or not. not. Yes. Right? Oh, and yes. Is that a good definition for y'all? Because it makes wonderful good sense yes. for me. Yes. Right? Yes. So when I'm dialoguing with other Christians, I'm dialoguing with them not because I want to believe like them. Mm. I just want to see what are their teachings. All right. 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 And, and then sometimes, the majority of the time, 90% of their teaching is what I believe in. All right. 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 And the other 5% of it is, hey, I, I can see where you're coming from with that. The other 5% is, oh, let's just pray about it and tell them, oh, thank you. Because hmm? I okay. got a 5% you don't like. Okay. All you understand right. what I'm saying? Right. So watch this. So when I'm dialoguing with people, I'm not dialoguing with them because I need to be a part of their agenda. Uh -huh. I'm right. only dialoguing because I need to know who you are right. and right. what I need to pray for. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What right. direction I need to operate right. around you. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay, y'all don't believe me. That's right? true. Okay. That's you true. You believe me, Rita? Yeah. Okay, who else believe me? I believe oh, okay, y'all believe me. Okay, 90% of the room believe me. How many of y'all on Facebook believe me? Let me see y'all hands. Put your hands in the comments. If you're on Facebook and you believe what I'm saying, put your hands in these comments. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. You ready for it? You ready yes, for it? Watch this. The Bible says in Romans, he said, judge no man on how they serve their God. Stand right. fall to right. their own God. Right. Watch this. If I don't dialogue with you, I don't know you don't eat meat. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And if I don't dialogue with you, I don't know, right? right. Certain things. Dialogue is a line of communication right. that we come in. Right. But my purpose is dialogue with you to say, so I'm going to be around Mother Bailey, so let me see what she likes and what she don't like. Let me see what can I say and what I can't say. Because there's certain stuff I can say in front of Mother Cotille. She's going to laugh and say, that's my pastor. But there's some things I'm not going to say in front of Mother Bailey. Right. 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 Now, I kind of about, well, my conversation kind of, Open up a little bit more with Mother Belly when we had Christmas last year. Uh -huh. When that was Christmas last year? Christmas last year. Because, you know, everybody here was down, right? And we was having a conversation like, oh, Mother Belly's really cool after all, you know? Because, you know, before I thought Mother Belly was a sanctified mother to the highest. Right, <laughs> to the highest. Right, right? right? Yes, and, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. I said, oh, Bishop Belly, you better ask Mother Belly, can you put that on? And, and Bishop was like, I'm going to do it. So that day when we all came with shots at church, and Mother Bella said, This shit, oh, so this is what we do with wings. <laughs> so, as I, but with that Christmas, I said, oh My God, Mother Bella is really fun, really fun. You know, because I could watch it prior to me dialoguing and being around her, I didn't know. Right, right. So, dialoguing helps us to know each other, right. not to be converted. 
Right. 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 into each other. Right. And a lot of times what we have done in the body of Christ, y'all, we dialogue with people so that we can change it. So dialogue is no longer dialogue. It's now called manipulation. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Controlling well. conversation. Insert control. Huh? Ooh, and so I'm God. sitting there with them. I said, I hear the Spirit of God says, insert of control is what this parent did. Wow. Well. You allow this man to insert his opinion mm -hmm. and control the power. So to y'all say that y'all didn't hear. Oh my How God. How is it 17 God. preachers on this panel my on the God. stage? Mm. And it's about 800 of us in the audience. My and God. nobody heard it but us 800. Well. Because it served communication had taken place. The spirit of insert had came and had inserted itself into a conversation so quick and we that he just kept on talking and he said, okay, so um um uh, you know when as soon as he said it, no one heard it. And, and lies. And, and they just kept talking. Kept talking. It's like, okay, we're not gonna put no gas in this because this is gonna get out of control. When I tell you your brother, let me tell you, Mother Billy, your, your boy up here. Honey, I start sending private messages to all the moderator, the host, and everybody. I say, bring me up now. Now. I know y'all ain't gonna sit here and let this boy just call Jesus a bee. And they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And so they made the announcement on Facebook, on, 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 on the thing, Clubhouse. right? On Clubhouse. They made the announcement. And people just raised their hands. Oh. And somebody said, did y'all hear that? People, the hands was just going up, mm. right? And the people hitting their microphones and stuff saying, yes, we heard it. And so they said, well, let's bring up Dr. Ballard, right? And the host said, yeah, I know who that is. Bring him up. Bring him up. I said, I want you to clean everybody off of this panel mm. except the, ho the moderator, the host, and the two moderators, me and the boy. And call Jesus a bee. Yes. All of the other 14 people, uh, 13 people down there, get them off this panel, of this panel My or God. I'm getting out of here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I said, because this is the devil's kingdom yes. going on right here. Yes. How in the world did this boy call Jesus a bee and y'all act like y'all did hear this? Then he sent the clip to the moderator, the host, and she said, Oh my God, you did. You did. But you know the problem of this, that we're all talking and we didn't hear. Yeah, all y'all was talking. That's the problem. We can't talk together. We got to sing together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All y'all talking at each other when he said that insertive control took place. Oh and he controlled this whole power and the audience down here. We are controlled by this spirit that told us that our Jesus yeah. is a beast. Yeah. So with that being said, I began to sit there and I said, I said, uh, I said, begin to sit there and I said, no, 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 this is not what we're going to do. Right. And we, we, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We begin to talk. The, the end of the battle, y'all, the end of the story is simply this. You ready for it? Yes, sir. The end of the story is he kept dropping off and on. So he finally came back and stayed on. I said, if you're not offended about what you did, why do you keep dropping and come back up with something else to identify? Wow. Who is gassing you? Who gaslighting you? Who got a battery in your back, bro? Wow. Guess what, bro? You're not going to win with me. Yeah. I don't care what the host and the moderators yeah. do. You're not winning yeah. with me. You call Jesus a bee. That's right. like you calling my mama a bee. You right. like, no, 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 no. You don't know me like that to right. call Jesus no bee. And get away with it. Get away with it. And so, oh so, so, we got talking. I'm going to share to him. I'm going to go down and break things down to him. I'm going to break things down to him according to spiritual translation and spiritual uh, interceptions and stuff like that. A lot of times we have problems because you got to be careful. You have to be careful who you lay up with. That's Don't right. nobody like to hear that? And all church people don't like Let's hear that. You got to be careful who you lay up with and having these babies for. You got to be careful because if you don't, it's some agenda. So let me tell you something here. Every woman that's in here watching me, listen to me right now. Every man that you think you know, that you think you know all about him, is something about that man you don't know. Come on, men, those that's watching me, that some sisters got some stuff that we don't know nothing about. Because everybody wants to be accepted and they don't want to be rejected. So there's some secrets that you and I have kept and we're going to take it to our grave and not tell nobody nothing about. Are y'all here? So we are all guilty of the fact that there's something in us and about us that we're going to take to our graves. And now, honey, I'm just going to take this to the grave and there's nothing, no, we ain't going to share none of this. And I'm just going to be all right with my secret and move on. And some secret was never meant to kill me. Come on here. Because the Bible says in Amos, some things I left in you to prove it. 
I know y'all didn't catch that one right there. How I threw that under you. Something, the Bible says in Amos, something got left in Israel to prove Israel and to teach Israel warfare. My God, Paul said it. My God, Paul said it. I prayed three times a day. Because I had this thorn in my flesh. And the messenger of Satan will buckle against it. He said, when I went to do good, the presence of this thorn was always around. Oh, and we know, I don't care what none of y'all say. I don't care how delivered we get and how sanctified we become. Every now and then, my God, we'll see something that we used to like Sandra. We see something that we used to entertain. Come on. We see some stuff that our flesh say, oh, we haven't had it in a minute. And guess what the message of Satan come and start rubbing this right there. And all of a sudden, we have to shut down the horse. And get our keys and our cars and our pocketbooks. And say, I got to get up out of here. Come on, Mother Bill, that's some stuff. Paul said, that's a thorn that's been down in me. He said, I'm constantly praying, Tyson Taylor. I'm constantly praying and seeking God because there's a thorn inside of me that when I want to do good, that thing is So, 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 watch this, Mother. Watch this, watch this. Watch this. Y'all ready for it? Can I give y'all some interpretation? Yes, sir. Scripture says, I pray, and when I try to do good, evil is always present. All right. Watch this, everyone. Nothing new is present. Oh, all right. Right. Paul was talking about that thorn that I got. He said that same thing yes. that I've been carrying yes. that yes. God won't get rid of. Yes. That same thing that's been keeping me at the altar crying. Right. The same limp that I came out from yes. a place called Jamaica. Y'all right. ain't saying nothing yet. Yes. The same stuff that I've been dealing with when God first called God is still activated every now and then. I get into places that thing rise up against me. And when I'm trying to do the best I can, my God, something is a part of this attachment. Shut up! Yes, yes, yes. And get me to a place where I gotta say, shut up, the door, go go, see, I got my heart. I got to get in the car and put my head on the steering wheel and say, why me, oh God? God deliver, God sanctify. But after I'm doing all of that, I'm gonna get judged by somebody that thought they saw me in my weak moment. Uh, somebody going to judge me because they say, let the Lord show me this. Oh, how God showed you about my reason, but they showed you about your reason. Yes, yes, Now, come on, so we got to fight battles constantly, Sandra. Bro, we got to fight battles constantly because that's a thorn that was given unto us. And that thing is always keeping us at the altar. That thing is always keeping us crying out to God. That saying, saying, I heal, I heal. Oh God, I heal unto thee. Are y'all hearing me? And there's a place where God is saying to us. So I said to the young man, I said, listen, young man, I'm not here to judge you, condemn you. But according to biology, you'll never be what your mama is. Alright. <laughs> according to medical science, boo-boo, you will never be. Guess what? Let me tell you something. America is not the first person to legalize what you are. That's been going on in European countries for years. Oh, come on here. That's why people in America will go to Europe and go to Brazil and go to other places to get the butt lifts and to get Tommy Talks and to get a sexual uh, a, a reversal changes. They didn't do that in our country just until just recently. You had to go to Canada. You had to go to Belize. You had to go to Europe. You had to, and, and down to Mexico to do this different stuff. How many people lost their lives in Reno? Come on, everyone. We can talk about it. I looked at your brother the, at the table and I said, we were sitting down. We, he looked at my I said, look at him. I said, all we can do is sit around and lift our hands up and say, look what the Lord has done, done. He said, you're right. I said, baby, not only did the Lord do it for what he did it for both of them. Amen. Hallelujah. And almost, I almost got a little shady. Uh, 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 and when I almost got a little shady, I said, y'all still judging me. It's all right. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing here. But I sit back and I watch it. I watch the malice that's at hand. I watch how God have changed Edwin. And I watch how God have changed Casey. And I said to Jesse, I said, honey, all you have to do is just sit back and look. And I look around the table. I said, mm, get 
today. Ain't nobody seen you the, pro the prophecy of God. Ain't nobody seen the manifestation of my lips yet. Ain't nobody seen me. The act as if it's national and nothing at all. That was a moment to have a praise party. And I looked to my far right. I looked at my brother. I said, oh God, he must be next. You must be able to do something next with him. And I was sitting there because he looked so disconnected from the table. He looked so disconnected from what was going on. And I said, God, and I got in the car to get to cry out to God on his behalf. And the Lord said, all he got to do is say, yes, Lord, and I'll give him another yes. yes. I'm sitting back and watching how the words are yet coming to pass, but the fight is still getting greater. But I have to turn around and say to God, God, I don't like this right here. But in the spite of it all, I'm going to still stand because what I see right here shows me I'm still in touch with you. Because you allow me to live and see the manifestation. Not long ago, I said to Edwina, whether we was in this church or not, I said, you're going to be a grandmother. I said, you're going to be a grandmother. And Humpty Dumpty to set the wall. Oh my God, and Humpty Dumpty and all had some great falls. But look at God putting this girl together. And when the grandbaby comes, you just go and give God praise. I'm not going to dance about it. I'm not going to shout about it. I'm already praying. I'm going to praise when God revealed it. And when the man of fiction happens, he says, look what the Lord has done. As we keep on, let's go to the next prophecy. Let's go to the next move. Are y'all hearing? I need my father, y'all, to holler and say, look what the Lord has done. Epsilon gets to a place. Yeah. Yeah. Epsilon gets to a place mm. where he's now sitting on the throne. Uh huh. So here's the occupancy going on. You ready? Uh huh. You ready, mother? Yes. David is in one place as king. Right, right. Absalom is in another place and made himself king. And made himself king. My God. Made himself. And not only did he made, but he politic people to follow him. Right. Yes, right. yes, he did. Uh -huh. Watch this. Can I tell you something? Can I show you? Sound like Donald Trump. Uh -huh. just, I'm, I'm telling you, didn't I just told you earlier? Yeah. Yeah. I told you the this season of election. Right. So they made a statement, Mother. Uh, the news, the news prognostic, prognosticator made a statement and said that uh, Trump is going to win. Well. You see? And I said, well, and all the people on Twitter and on the polls said, yes, yes, yes. I looked at the poll and said, yes. <laughs> he had a shot. Yes. He's going to win. I said, and if he win, he get in the office and drop dead. Come on, Come on. Uh -huh. Come right? On. But win in all ways, win. No way. All right. Oh, good day in the morning, because in every win there is some losses. Oh, sometimes in order for you to win, sometimes you will have to have some loss in the win. Uh, okay. uh, I'll show you where I'm talking good, mother. I I'll show you when your boy is talking real good. So now the time for battle, they're going to battle, you're ready to go to fight. And, and Joab, which is the captain of David's army, which is also the cousin of David, right? And goes on to a family member of David. We're still trying to figure out what Joab was to David. But how be able one Bible say he was the cousin of David, right? So watch this, mother. He goes to battle and he's going to fight. Joab got one thing in mind. His agenda is one to save our kingdom. The agenda, Joab agenda is one agenda. I don't care nothing about what David's going through, and I don't care nothing about what Absalom's going through. All I'm worried about Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is where we are. This is who we are. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about who right and who wrong. I don't care. I'm fighting for the cause. Now he goes to battle and they're fighting. And now everybody that tailgated with Absalom. Uh-huh. When the heat of the battle got great. And Absalom turned all the tailgaters said to Absalom, go and attack David now. See the tailgaters. The tailgaters are those that have already dealt with Absalom, with David in some kind of form or fashion. And there was a disagreement with them. Y'all better be careful with all these tailgaters that y'all have, because everybody in the tailgate ain't in agreement with you. They're just showing up for the party. Just showing up to see who gonna win. See, some of the tailgates may be like me. I'm not a sport person or athletic person, so when the Falcon went, I was like, yes, sir, we won. <laughs> and there was somebody else who went, yes, sir, we won. <laughs> right? And, and, and so they be in the car, and I'm picking them up, and they say, I said, who won? They said, the Falcon, I said, they said, the Falcon, I said, oh, yeah, we won. He said, no, no, no. I said, no. He said, where you hollering from? I said, man, you think I'm about to be stressed out? on a game for people to make millions of dollars and I can't get my one dime from it. Whoever wins is who I win. 
the other saints when I was the saints today. If the other time I went out with the other time, I mean, listen, I went to win up. I'm not going to stress myself out. And, and, and the boy was like, man, yeah, my pressure's up. Man, my, man, my pressure. I got to go home and take my pressure pill because, man, I had money on this thing. Yeah. You bet it on a game, but yeah, what they ties it off. Yeah, they do. All the time. You bet on a game, but if you're cussing, pay ties. Oh, and there's no guarantee for the game. Well, so, so watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> so, watch this. So, Joab's job was to secure the kingdom. The king. Every one of our jobs in this room is to secure the kingdom, the kingdom. of God. Amen. The kingdom of God. And make sure that it stays intact. Yes. Right, oh, right. Yes, God. That's our job. Yes, God. Watch this. Okay. So, when the battle was going to start, they said, we're going to attack David now. Because some of the people that were tailgating with, with Absalom, uh -huh. they knew David. Yeah, uh -huh. They knew his strategy. Mm -hmm. Right. So what did David do as a wise father? Mm -hmm. He sends his interval mm -hmm. to go down there, right? Mm -hmm. And talk on his behalf. Mm -hmm. He said, listen, go unto Absalom, my son, mm -hmm. and be unto him what you were unto me. Right. Oh. Advise him well. He goes down to advise because Absalom have already created his own advice. Right. He said, listen, Absalom. He said, listen to me, Absalom. Yes, sir. He said, your father is a man of war. Yes, he is. He said, listen to me, Absalom. He said, if you go and fight against that man yes, sir. right now, your daddy will send the strongest warriors out first. Uh-huh. And then he'll come around the back end with, the weak ones. with his weak links and knowledge your whole brother. He said, don't, you don't want to do that. Your dad is a man of war. Right. He didn't want to listen. So the, uh, the, the advisors read, sent messages and go tell David. He's hard-headed, stiff-necked. He don't want to listen. And the fight is up. Uh -huh. Well, Joab said, stay in post. <laughs> Joab, told, Joab told David, get up out this mess you're in. Uh -huh. This man, no, 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 he stopped being who he was right. when he went sit on the throne. Uh -huh. oh. Are you hearing me? Right. Oh. Watch this, watch this. He stopped being who he was when he sit, the moment he thought about being on that throne. Right. He said, we are about to lose our life for your kingdom and you crying? Right. Wipe your tears yes. and understand the war battle. Understand that we got a kingdom we still got to keep intact. Right. I got to tell somebody this morning, wipe your tears. And understand, we still got a kingdom. We got to keep it down. Yes, sir. Oh, y'all hear me? And now the battle got great. And what did the wisdom and the emotions of uh, David say? David said, be kind unto him. That's what he said. He's still my son. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Same thing he said about his other brother. Uh -huh. It's the same thing that he says about Absalom. But did same grace. Different love, but same grace. Well, Come on, are you hearing me, Sandra? Yes, and then watch this. Why David was being so graceful to Absalom? You invite your brother over mm. to dinner, and y'all kill him. Mm. Not only did you invite judgment to the whole house, mm. but you messed up the whole plan. Yes, yes. Come on, let me tell you something. Now David, uh, Absalom is at battle. Mm -hmm. The battle did great, and he get wounded. Uh -huh. And Joab said, they said, Absalom is dangling from a tree by his hair. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Did y'all remember the sermon of Vernon in the eight? Yes. When I preach, <laughs> the very thing you glory in, uh -huh. will have you home. Right, Woo! right, right. Vernon in Eight Avenue, some years ago, I preached the message. The very thing you glory in. Right. Because everybody loves Samson because of his, uh, I mean, Absalom because of his beauty. His beautiful hair, right. nice texture body. You know, he kind of put him back to me. <laughs> but I ain't gonna be hung on nobody's tree by my hair. Are you hear me? So watch this, my baby. He hanging on the tree. Yeah. While he's hanging on the tree, the Bible says, Joab said, Where is he? Where is they he? They say he's dangling because he ran from the battle because he got too heated. Yeah. And the, he realized the tree was too low. Yeah. Or maybe God lowered the branch. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, oh. Oh. In other words, you saw clearance. And God saw Lord. You saw Clarence and he was running. And in the movie you can see he was running and he lowered his head all the way down to the spine of the horse. The horse lowered his head. Right? And when the horse lowered his head, it caught Absalom's head and lifted him up the horse. Why did that horse lower his head? 
Well, he was smart. Why? He was smart. Because God is the author and the finisher of all things. Yes, he is. So, okay, Absalom, you have a plan. You're going to lower your head. Horses lower your head. Because if the head of the horse had not been lowered, uh -huh. watch this. He had, there you go, buddy. He had a cleanse because the horse was a took the biggest pluck right. of the tree. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what? When a horse is running, you'll never see him lower his head okay. while he's running. Because right. he needs to have vision. Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. But at that moment, he went against his heart, lowered his head, took off of his back what was not of God. Daddy, he come across the door. Like, oh, you got it, Simon. You got it. Oh, my God. My God. The horse lowered his head and said, let me get this monkey off of my back. Come on here. And my God. And history said that the horse continued to run violently away from the wall. Yes. 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 My God, what you count on to carry you to your next place of bad agenda? Who are bad to you after he kick you off? Let me say this. Say He's sitting here. That's right, mother. Because the horses have to have blinders, blinders right, on right. so they can focus and not yeah, be distracted. Yeah, right, right. Watch this. So, watch this. So, eight, Joab says, where is he? He's dangling. Mm -hmm. He's dangling. Takes the sword. Uh -huh. One commentary says he takes the sword uh -huh. from another man. Uh -huh. Another man. Another commentary. When he said he took the sword from another man because he didn't want David to realize because every soldier's sword has an initial on it. Yes, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. It has an identity that this one belongs to you. Right, right. It's made different. It's mm -hmm. made different. Our, our weapon tree is different from yes, other nations. Yes, 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 yes. And so he didn't want to use his, because remember, he was still cousin. Yes. Right. He didn't want it. So he took another main mm -hmm. sword. Mm -hmm. Then one commentary said he took another main spear. Oh. Right, right. And as he was running, Riding on the horse in yeah. high speed. Uh -huh. He took it and pierced. And pierced. One said he took it and hold it downward and ran into him and threw him off mm. out of the lockets. Mm -hmm. One said he walked up to him uh -huh. and took his own sword out. Mm. He said, This is not for your daddy, this is for the kingdom. Mm. And uh -huh. pierced him. Uh -huh. and, killed his own and took him and buried him into the ground. Uh -huh. Wherever commentary is right. It's none of my business. Right, right. <laughs> the fact of the matter is the kingdom stayed intact. Yes, it is. Right. Yes, Y'all, that's a sad thing that we got to say, but we got to do it. Yes, and my God, that yesterday when that was Friday, let me tell you something, Alicia. I say, regardless of what, I got to take this sword out. My God. My brother and I got to get rid of you off of this platform. Yes. Because I can't allow you to call Jesus a B and you don't have a repentance heart. All right, all right. So I said to him, I said, do you want to be saved? No, I don't want to be saved. Okay. Oh, okay. I said, okay. I said, okay. I said, do you know the Lord? He said, yeah, I know the Lord. I said, you can't know the Lord because you just called the Lord a B. Well. I didn't ask you if you know God. I asked you if you know the Lord. Lord, uh, yeah. Lord is Jesus. Yeah. Right. God is God. Right, right. I'm so glad That's the difference, my brother. Thank you. He got quiet. My Lord. He got quiet. Mm. I said, because of the distraction of the kingdom mm -hmm. and in the kingdom, good sound doctrine is not being taught. That's right. right. Because on. God is God. Yes, he yes. Shed yes. 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 The Lord belonged to Jesus yes. Yes. and to husband man. Yes. Oh, the women of culture say, my Lord, talking lowercase to their husband. Right, right, right. But my Lord would be to kings and to people that had lordship. Right. Jesus came in the earth as our Lord, Lord and said, yes, 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 come on here. Yes, yes. God was already on the throne. He don't need kingdom. He don't need king because he's God. He's God. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? He's God. So watch this. Watch this. And watch this. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. Come right on, here, y'all might lose it with me. And I said, because if you knew the Lord, uh -huh. and God, the Lord been gracious to you, uh -huh. you would have never called them what you called them. Uh -huh. That let me know you don't know the Lord. You have a figment of imagination. Uh -huh. your, your mind had taught. You have a taught mindset, a walking mindset. Uh -huh. I said, that's what the scripture said in St. John 10 and 10. Uh -huh. The thief coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life. Uh -huh. 
and have it more abundantly. Come on here, yeah, I give God, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, come on here, so you have a right and the ability to get everlasting life by confessing with your mouth, believing with your heart, and accepting the Lord as your personal savior. Well, I'm not about to do that. All right, then you don't need to be up here. Goodbye. And so all of a sudden, it was knocked off. Mm. Right? Yeah. I get a phone call. Later on, I get a phone call. You ready? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I get a phone call and says, um, we need to talk about the, what took place. I said, oh, we do? Oh. I said, what do we need to talk about? He says, um, well, you know something. I said, no, you know something. It was you. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, okay. I said, let me tell you something, sweet darling. I'm too old to be playing Yes, with God yes, and the church. Yes, okay. And you too old. You're 17 years old. Oh, you too old. Oh, yes, sir. You've been preaching for 40 years and I've been knowing you the third Ooh. part of the 40 years. Oh, you God. too old. Wow. You the one preached and prophesied me to the place where I am today. Wow, I said, you, I've been with you to three marriages. You too old. Too old. To be sitting up here that somebody because when I remember when your son was struggling with that spirit, how you call all the saints for us to pray now that he's married. And you wind up marrying a woman that was struggling with that spirit. And thank God that both of them are saved and love God and operating in the things of God. Ain't no doubt play on the story with them. They love God for real. And they for real, they're sharing their stories and sharing how God put them together. Oh, and how God. things happened. And what happened in his early ages that his mama didn't know because she was preaching too much. And what happened in her early age and she was being babysitted by somebody. And these people was watching and different things that was going on. These spirits that was imposed and, and embedded and intruded in these children's lives. And they were telling, we hated it when we was doing it. And they didn't know each other. But they hated what they was doing because they kept saying it got to be something better. I know that's yes. right. Yes. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. I say you're too old for that. Okay. And what you're trying to do is do uh, a clean up. What do you want damage control. Damage control. Mm. You're trying to fix damage control because you want this thing on the panel. Mm. And so you want to ease my mouth. You want to shut my mouth down. Wow. I say, well, let me tell you something, man. Wow. Wow. I've been in this thing 37 years, and people have been trying to shit me yeah, for yeah, 37 yeah, years. Yeah, people don't work with crap that have lied on me and yeah, said yeah. things. They took what I they talked to me and told yeah, what I said, but they didn't tell what they said. Right. Oh, come on, if they drove me under the bus and rolled the bus on me, and when they looked up when the bus passed over, I was still steady looking good. Yeah, I said, guess what? I done been through it all. I don't need to be on your platform. I probably will never ever come back on your platform ever again in life. And I know you won't miss me because you got thousands of people to be on there a day. And it's fine with me. But guess one thing I did know? I saved if I didn't do nothing but save one person live on your panel, my assignment was accomplished. And I will never allow y'all to stand up in a platform and let no one call my Jesus a beat and get away. St. John 10 and 10 says. Yes. Uh, 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 St. John 10 and 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I am come mm -hmm. that they might have life and that they might have it in more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Jesus yes, said, Let me explain to you why the enemy came. He came with an agenda. Yes, he yes. did. That's it. Okay. He had motives. Yes. See? Now, I don't want nobody to think I'm throwing off on nobody. I'm no. talking Bible. Right. right. No, I'm talking Bible. So my moral of my conversation is not about who left and who stayed with me. Right. right. My moral of my conversation this morning is God said there's an era of political time and it got to be the right. address yes, in the church. Yes, right, right. He said, I need you to begin to explain to them what took place on Friday. Because well. nobody took a stand and cried right. out against this. That's it. God. Are you hearing me? I will be in this church without an organ and a drummer if I got to pay an organ and a drummer that can't live two cents. Come on, God. Come on, have mercy. Come on, Because right. I don't need a, song, a, a sound right. All right. to get the gospel across. That's right. All right. All right. Come on, you hear what I'm saying? You? Yes, sir. All I need yes. is a ear yes. and a microphone. Yes. Because yes. the scripture says, them that have an ear, yes. let them hear. hear. What the Spirit says unto the church. Yes. Yes. 
And what happens is, y'all, we get caught up in the rhetoric, okay. the sound, yes, sir. the yes, musical sir. acrobats, well. and all of that. And we're like, I didn't hear Pastor say that. Yeah, you heard he said it then. And then, oh, we say, look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor. And you, you well, what did he say? Because everything is loud. Uh -huh. you, you can't hear nothing. And right. no, it's the time going to come. All that will be bad. But right now, who's not going to be playing that, oh, no, we're good. Amen. Just Amen. like this. All right. And then, guess what, mother? If God don't ever change it, y'all saw me dance no. without one That's beat. right. Because I do That's real right. good without one beat. Are y'all hearing me? Because yes. most of the time we give God praise and it, we give God praise work and they're giving us Funkadella chords. Yes. <laughs> you can say that. Uh, yeah. They're playing Funk and Funkadella chords in the praise music and, and we just shout and dance on this. Uh, and we have to go lucky. My God. And then we are infused to go to the club right after we left church. Because the sound of the club is still in our music. Uh, all right, music. All right, all right. Come on. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But tell your neighbor the thief coming. The thief coming. To kill. To kill. To steal. To steal. And to destroy. And destroy. But I come. But I come. That you might have it. Now, watch this. The reality of the matter is this. David had a job that he had to do. Right. He could not allow someone to predict to him or to sway him and to move in a manner that God didn't tell him. That's true. Wow. That's true. Why? Because David, all eyes was on David because he was a king. Right. And what he what he would have done was presidency in all other things. Right, right. So David absolutely didn't understand the kingship because if he understood the kingship, he would let David be king. Right, right, right. You can understand that absolutely didn't understand kingship because he died in the beginning of his own kingship. Well, he committed his own suicide. Right. His own promotion killed him. <laughs> and not, no, no, no. And watch this. How many people died with him? Mm, right. My God. Too Mother many. Bailey, how many people died with Absalom? Mm. Because he made himself something that God said, uh -uh. not so. Not so. That's true. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. And we have a world today yes. of calling themselves a nation. Come on. Our nation, one nation under, under God. God. Uh -huh. Okay, for us to say that, I pledge allegiance, right? Right. One nation under God, that means all nationalities and all nations have to come under this one na nation right. mindset. Right. Right. And I said, how can we say that when we are an incorporation? Right. We're not really considered a nation. Right. Even though we are in a sense, but title-wise, yeah. legitimacy-wise, we're not. No. We're called right. the United States of America Incorporation. Incorporated. Incorporated. Right. right? So, well, that's not a nation. That's, that's a business. business. Right. That's a business. And for me to hear other people from foreign countries come in and they'll give a little shade remark, oh, I'm here, to, uh, oh, I came to this business affair uh -huh. to, for that's a business that's what conference. Say. Yeah. And I said, well, what business affair? He said, oh, you know the United States of America is not a nation. You know that, right? Uh -huh. I said, oh, yo, went to school, duh. <laughs> I know the United States of America Incorporated. <laughs> I know that. Hey. I said, but we still a nation. He said, no, 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 you can't be, son. Okay. Mm. And I had to get quiet. Mm -hmm. He said, we are a nation. Because mm -hmm. we are king. We are a nation. Right, right. <laughs> right. Kingdom nation. There you go. There you go. So when she was talking, and I had to say that, I said, no, no, we are a nation. Mm -hmm. Believers, we are nations. But I'm, that's why Jesus said in St. John 19, chapter, he said, this world is not my work. Right. This kingdom here is not, not my, my kingdom. kingdom. Right. He said, because if it was my kingdom, they would have fought for me. They would have fought for me. And right. fought with me. Right. And not against me. Right. He said, mm -hmm. he said I'm going to be giving over. Mm. He said, no, 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 this, this ain't my kingdom. This is not my kingdom. That's not my he kingdom. He said, so I don't want you to be so subtitled or submissive to this kingdom, this Absolutely. world. And if you're so submissive to this world, what happens is, why is this? You ready for your mother? Give me two minutes. You want, you want to hear? Yes, sir. Okay. What happens is when we submit ourselves to this kingdom of darkness, then we also submit ourselves to every demon and spirit that that's comes true. to this kingdom. That's true. That's true. And so that's why we can never use the word as believers a balanced life. All right. Come on. Help I, I'm going to help you again come before on. I close. I'm going to help you again. A balanced life as a believer is simply a day of worship set aside only for God. Uh -huh. Six days of work, because he said, I balance. Uh -huh. I balance. Mm -hmm. 
you work six days, and on the seventh day you rest. Right, right. that's what he said. <laughs> In each day, give him his one hour. Ten percent. Ten percent. That's how that is. Right. Give us a ten percent. He said, in tithing and offerings and things and gifts to everything about our life that operates in the tent of its starting maturity. Right, right. The more you increase in God, your percentage of giving God become to increase. Right, right. So the more I fall in love with God, the more yes. percentage of time I want to spend with Him. Right. Lord, I fall in love with God. The more God blesses me, the more I want to give. I no longer right. want to give the 10%. Right. Okay, God, I'm okay with well, living on the 10th. Right. And let me give you the 9th. Right. And, and the church I lost the church again. Right? Right, right. Because my teeth is so big, guess what? I can give God my nine. So those that still live off the that struggle with their teeth can live off of the nine. According to Acts, the book of Acts that says all things are common to all men. Now I still lost the church because we too busy trying to build a millennial movement. So here's the thing, is all things is common. If I'm living off of the 10%, because my 10% is so big, but neither is living savage, then all of us in this room are living off my 10% because my 10% is the million dollars. All right, all right. Come on, sir. Our 90% is the 900 million. All right. And okay, God, so I'm giving my 900 million because I'm cool with this one million I got right here. And that 900 million is going to build schools in Africa. It's going to build this. It's going to do that. It's going to help the poor and the needs right here in America. And so now I'm so powerful for the kingdom. I got it together. We good. We good here. I'm on the million. I got it. I'm living off the 10% and I'm giving away my 90%. God balanced our lives to grow into the 90%. God didn't balance my life so I can pay Royal Caribbean's $1,400 and the church is just struck. All right. Come on, sir. Come on, dear. All right. I'm going to enter into Paris and spend $9,000 on a trip. But I'm struggling. To help them keep the lights on in the church. Well, and you say it's a balanced life. No, 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 the no, Bible no. called it a false balance. That's and the Bible says a false, false balance is an abomination under God. Okay, yesterday I closed right here. Yesterday I was driving at Morehouse because it was Morehouse Homecoming game, right? right. Driving. And I saw some of the saints. I saw the, some of the saints. I saw some of the saints. And I saw uh -oh. one person. One person among the saints that I saw. And they act like they didn't see me. So I made uh -oh. it very obvious for oh, them to Lord. see me. Right? <laughs> You know, because sometimes I can't be missing. Yes. And I made it very obvious for them to see me. So I got out of my car and I stretched. I got out of my car and I stretched. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Stretched. I popped my trunk, mother, and I went to the trunk, and I stretched, and I switched my shoes on. I put these shoes on from my other shoes, and I closed the trunk. And then was a walking up, and it was walking up. I looked dead in their face, looked dead in my face, right? But what I only did, I didn't really want them to speak to me. If they didn't want to speak to me, I just wanted to just let them know. I saw them twisting all the way up no, and no, down. Good. All right. Wow. You done twisted all the way up and down yeah, in front of all these that's folks. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Lord. Lord Jesus. No, they were skipping, baby. First of all, I didn't know who they was. That was a twist. That was a twist. Until I pulled up on the side and did this. Yes, that's what 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 but oh. you saw me. Wow. And you saw that my car going up. And you saw my car coming back. You saw it going up. Okay, you, saw no, back. No, you saw me. So you know I saw all what you was doing. No, I, you, and you a man. You're going to be up doing all that praise and worship. No, doing Jesus. all that good old singing that you think you do. No, and you just sat shit in front of all these straight men oh, at this day. Jesus. Come on here. And I looked up again where we found them up. Later on driving. I said, oh, here you go again. <laughs> the children came out. The, the freaks came out last night. And it was daytime. I'm telling you, it was crazy. And this is where our society is. I got Lord Jesus. This is where our society is. Lord, this is political arena, this church arena. Y'all be in trouble. Yes, yes Lord. Yeah. But can I tell y'all something? Jesus. The name of the Lord yes. is a strong wow. tower. The righteous run into and we're saved. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. My Requests to you guys to sing with God. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, with Lord. With all your heart. 
Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. We got to keep the kingdom intact. Yes, sir. And I, I pray to God, you know, people watch these lives. You know, those of you that's watching our lives, you pastors, um, brothers in the kingdom that watch the lives, and, mm. and you guys watch the live, and who call me, and tell you how blessed it is, and how blessed you. It's like, man, I couldn't say that. Mm. But what you're saying is needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I want to challenge you. Why do you always say, I, you can't say what I'm saying? Uh, well, is it not the same God talking yes, to you that talking yes, to okay. you? It's not the same Bible that we're reading. Okay. Like we're not doing it out of judgment. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing it out of the prophetic realm of God. If God right. told us to say it, we got to say it. Yes, right. yes. And whether people right. like it or not, right. we still have to say what God said. He told us to cry loud and say yes. out. Warn my people the ways of their transgression. Yes. And make sure they have a space to repent. Yes. yes. Talk about forgiveness. Yes. But yeah, you know, man, but, you know, and so in reality, what you're saying to me, y'all, the, re the reality of the mm -hmm. matter, you don't have to lose what we have to lose. Well, wow. And that can be a curse, mm -hmm. like, well, or a shade to me. Yes. Well, but because I am, you know, A-B positive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my blood type, mm -hmm. right, is A-B positive. I'm going to be positive about the matter. Amen. Like I always do. Amen. Thank God, Thank God I have nothing to lose right. to close my mouth. Because right. I have already lost everything that I already had. All right. Oh, on, you hear me? And my life is hid in, in Christ. Christ. Yes. Yes, and since it's hid in Christ, I will see the hope of glory. Yes, sir. So you mean to tell me your inheritance mm -hmm. and all that you have right. is causing you to preach the way you preach. Well, then you're not the preacher of the living God. Because well, he told us to cry loud. And if our churches are built off of, off of a theology that calls people to come and not get delivered, well, they still lost. Then it's in vain. It's in vain. You've got to build the kingdom of God and push the gospel to deliverance come. Because here's the choice, y'all. When people leave, when people leave out of the church and go out in the streets, and there was no truth being preached to them, mm. they cannot be accountable to change. Yes. Well, there's no truth was given to them. Okay. Nothing was challenging them to change. Right. And I yesterday I looked at that table and I said, okay, God, the challenge was accepted. All right. Well, All right. And this is the clearance. Mm -hmm. And I'll take no credit for it. I'm going to lift up my hand and say to God, be the glory. Right. I promise I looked at your brother and I said, and I want to be this supposed to be shady. But I didn't. I just like thank you. Thank you. I said, thank you. Lord, will you look thank back over? Thank you, Lord. You can see what the Lord done for both of them. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Ain't that good news? Oh, yeah. I said, you remember back then? I said, yes. God can. Yes, he will. Only God can do it. Yes, sir. And at the end of the day, there are testimonies yes. that God can yes. do it. Yes. Right. And God will. Yes. All right? Yes. All right. God bless you. And God keep you to the next time. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Yeah, I got a choice.